Greetings! Guess what's happening in May? Yep, you guessed it. Andy Hughes' new EP. Hi, Kim! Journal for the etc. is coming out early May. Specific date? Nah, you don't need that at all. What you need is a good recommendation to buy or listen, or both buy or listen to the EP coming out in early May. It's Andy Hughes, you know it's going to be something. Now, um, there is something else I'd like to discuss, and um, well, here it is. I'm outside, haha. <laughs> but now, listen to these folks. When historians look back on spring 2020, they're going to think of one thing. Probably the best thing to happen in the world ever. Incredible. One thing that spread worldwide, affected hundreds of thousands of people, and something that the British government completely slept on. And it's going to be this EP by Andy Hughes. Since Trapped stopped making music, uh, it's so great. I'm about to put it on now to like get me to sleep because it just makes me feel so warm and toasty on the inside. I haven't had a hard on that big since 2012. Incredible. Yeah, it's all right. Just the way that they blend all of the ism is great. Proper bang, isn't it? Everybody is talking about this new music, this new genre, this new direction, this new guy. The E of this EP puts the E in EP, but the P of this EP puts the P in P-E. I did not truly really understand the flavour that came from music. Well, when I say it's alright. Until I listen to the Andy Hughes. It's pretty good. It tastes like biscuit and caramel. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely one of the better uh, hip-hop EPs of the year, and uh, it's really doing quite a lot for the African-American community right now. You haven't heard 17 mini guitar solos like this since Frank Zappa dropped acid. Um, yeah, Andy Hughes is... Oh. Wow, what a guy. <laughs> Incredible. When I say it's good, it's certainly an EP. It's like Manic Street Preachers had sex with, um, The Who. What can I say about this fantastic masterpiece? You know, it's just, um... Oh my goodness. It's just, you know, it's, it's, uh... Yes, it's, a uh, angsty candle in the darkness of our meaningless existences. Big no Pete Townsend, the big nose fella. It's broken new ground and subverted my expectations. If you like that kind of thing. And the hues. Oh, I'm just thinking about it, it's just... Never heard of him. Esta indecisión me molesta. Si no Hello. Librame, I enjoyed this music uh, very me much. Que tengo ser. It's just. It reminds me of some of Beethoven's pre fame symphonies with hints of Susie Quattro. There were lyrical and playful moments. Full of buoyancy. Built on a sturdy scaffolding of underlying fugue counterpoint. The melodies followed less predictable trajectories with an enchanting rhythmic flexibility. You better make it quick. It was a journey through my Mixolydian scale of emotions. It's... I mean, I'm a fan. It's, it's just... Will not adopt a guitar. Best guitar dop ever. What are the questions? I finally got round to listening to the EP and it gave me nightmares. It is. I think Stevie Wonder plays slappy bass on one of the tracks. Which gave a beguiling and potent sense of forward momentum. It's, it's just... But I've had to seek professional help after hearing it. Hmm. What do I think of the EP? Soy Capitan. Soy Two Capitan. thumbs up. That's what we are, is it matters? Well, it kind of sounds like the sort of thing you'd hear playing in the background of a Netflix documentary about serial killers. Just like any other BP, really, isn't it? But I think that works. I've heard Eases and Pieces, and I really think it's excellent, excellent. Is it going to have guitar? And I wouldn't say, like, the music's bad. It's just that it was like someone 
cramming, you know, feces into my ear. I mean, what more is there to say? Stop messaging me, Walla. You can really enjoy it by ear, but you can penjoy it on paper. I just love that he's so in touch with his feminine side and he gives me faith in the men. But it is... And like, I don't usually mind that sort of thing. I listen to Clowncore for fuck's sake and enjoy it. He's not afraid to show emotion and be soft. But this really, this didn't leave me feeling good, man. Like, us questioning so much after that. Like, do I even want to listen to music anymore? I don't know. Incredible. I was thinking about going Van Gogh on it and just cutting my fucking ears off. Oh, and that bit where it's just, oh, whole thing is just, you know, disowning everybody that I know because like it's really fucked with me. Um, how can you put that out there? The sound of the drums takes me back to that one time when I travelled to a Buddhist monastery in the Nepalese Himalayas. I heard it sound pretty good, but is it Michael Bublé? I don't know what that is. How can you how can you willingly put that shit out there and think you know people are going to enjoy this? It's just great when actually what you're doing is is detrimental to the human race, you know. There was a man playing the drums in Heathrow Airport. I think I'll only be interested if I can hear a cowbell. You know, a cowbell really makes a song. I guess I've got some shit to think about. I've got some people telling me it's like K-pop. Woo!